You know, Joe Biden's doing miserably. It is they, they are they need a Hail Mary desperate pass to try and pull this off. And so I, we, we end up getting this ad where an absolutely desperate Democrat candidate, they know they're losing. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. For all we know, Democrats end up winning. Sure, fine, whatever. The red wave is what's being predicted because Republicans are up in the generic ballot. This guy made a campaign ad with a noose around his own neck. Huh. And progressives were calling it bold. <laughs> what? Courageous. And I'm like, well, that is true. You got to have balls <laughs> of steel to make a campaign. Ad. But when I saw this, I was just like, it was kind of a moment of realization for me. For the first, it's the craziest political ad I've ever I've seen in my lifetime. Unless I'm forgetting something, like, which is possible. There was another one where they were like running people down in MAGA trucks or something. Oh, I don't know. oh that's yeah, right. Yeah, I about that one yeah. was also that's really that was also jokes. crazy. But you know, before like growing up, the campaign ads were like, "My opponent wants to raise taxes." How dare you? And he voted no on the Safer Schools Act. Now it's a guy and he puts a noose around his neck and he's like, "Look what they've done to me!" And my and I'm, I'm, wow, it's like he put this noose around my neck and said, "This is MAGA country." <laughs> <laughs> Rand Paul poured bleach on me outside of Subway. That's right. And the media's like, Rand, what do you have to say for yourself? How dare you? And I, he's like, I didn't do it. And they're like, he's uh, lying. He admits it. I, I never did that. They're like, well, that's what you would say if you did it. If you did it. I do agree. I've never seen an ad where they make themselves the victim. Mm. When someone's running for office and is well, like, look how badly I've been treated. Vote, for, vote for me that's now. That's also a very good point. That's such a bizarre strategy to be like, I am a victim. It's like, well, okay. we were supposed to elect leaders. What is this? <laughs> I got, I, I do have to point out, yes, I did not remember this one. Yeah. Virginia ad features minority kids chased by truck with Gillespie sticker and Confederate flag. What? Yeah, this is just yeah, no, scare tactics. Wild. It's, it's like, they're writing I, fanfics. They are, right. they are. Is, see, but, see, but the difference is, this is a normal ad. The news, no, yeah, we'll play it. <laughs> Like what is this? What is this white dude with the Confederate flag doing? They made sure he turned his head slowly, though. He's running down minority kids. What does it look like? Oh <gasps> but I don't think he actually does anything to the no, kids. No, he doesn't. They're well, wh wh whatever politician this was probably intervened before he got a chance to do so. All right, I bet he did. I actually, I actually think this is a really good commercial. <laughs> run, run, run! <laughs> the truck is the coming. Good job, girl. Oh no! <laughs> this is so what's he gonna what, do? What, what's it? Yeah, like what? What is? What is the guy even? Do? Oh, he's oh got, no! Oh, yeah. Not the Gadsden flag. <gasps> he's gonna Whoa. run him over. Oh, is this a nightmare? How did it become night so fast? <laughs> this is a, actually. I think this is a good commercial. I know the PSA is like maybe well, stop fabricating fake hate crimes and scaring the crap out of your children. Exactly, yeah, that's a good idea. These yeah. kids are having nightmares because you scream in their faces about things that they don't got to be worrying about for the most part. The Kim Classic ads were really good that she had. Those, the, those were couple, good, yeah. yeah. That was a good oh. example of high production value, uh, but focusing on whatever issues she wanted to talk about in the community, you know, well, walking the streets well, of Baltimore. I just want to point out, they took the tweet. They took that unbelievably banal, histrionic, dramatic, left-wing tweet that we see every couple months and made a commercial. The, my kid said to me, I'm scared because yep. Republican is going to do X. It's like, your kid didn't say that. You're making this up. What's wrong with you? They took they took that and they made it a commercial. Do you remember the, the Lincoln, is it the Lincoln Project? What, yeah. Was it the Lincoln yeah. Project, their Ugh. commercial that they had where it was like, Four was, more years, and the, I didn't know you could serve three terms, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember that commercial? Yeah, yeah like, blowing up. Oh what? my god! No, it was uh, it was um, it was Donald Trump in a pickup truck chasing down Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah. Jeez, <laughs> exactly he hates was. America. No. See, but the thing about these commercials is they're I don't I don't want to give them any sort of gravitas, but at least they're legit. The thing with the noose is just a publicity stunt. Yeah, this guy's running in Kentucky against Rand Paul. He knows he's exactly not win. going to win. He's trying to get Twitter <laughs> followers to parlay that into a job at MSNBC. Like, that's his goal. That's what a lot of it always yeah. feels like to me is that they're looking. They know they're not going to win, especially in like specific no, districts. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, he's trying yeah. to get attention so that he can make his next career move. Well, he clearly literally wants victim points by actually putting a noose around his neck. Like I can't think of a more direct <laughs> parallel to being like, oh, look at me. I'm a victim. Give Good me a job America. at MSNBC. I think that's it. I'm oh yeah, man, this. we gotta this is, we, this we gotta watch. Let me let me make sure I. Good night, America. Oh. Good night, this is, this America. Is one of the funnier. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh yeah, blow this one up. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Look at that color scheme. It's so dark. <laughs> this is that meme where the kids like, "Mommy, oh. Donald Trump is a fascist." <laughs> it's like a red, white, like an American flag hey, blanket. Yeah. Mommy. 
You asked me to wake you and tell you what happened in the election. <laughs> oh, no, he did not. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh yes, he did. Gosh. The kid definitely did that. I said no. I had school Trump. tomorrow. <laughs> Trump oh <my> won. Gosh. <laughs> Look at her face. I thought you could only be president two times. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is so cringe. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. She was... <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Just one second. All right, Wait, just second. besides everything that is obviously second. wrong with this, if he was running for president after he had already served two terms, why would the kid be confused about the possibility of him winning? <laughs> <laughs> the idea that you can only have two terms is not voter enforced. It's not like we let them run again and then the American people go, no, he had two terms. We're not voting but for him. But only them. after he wins. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, after, no. Yeah. But it's literally election night. <laughs> she says Donald Trump might win and he goes wake me up when we find out and then she wakes up and he goes but I thought you could only serve two terms like then why did you ask then why did you ask <laughs> making me get up in the middle of the night to tell you about something you didn't even know about she's, she's like uh, son we've been over this in some insane fascistic way that the Lincoln Project dreamed up he changed <laughs> the law that's why he was running again that's why there was the I, election I yeah, gotta exactly. I gotta give a shout out because this ad was actually like it may as well have been a Trump ad. Like, so an ad good. for oh, Trump. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And so, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure all the Trump supporters were like, yeah! yeah! Like, this is hilarious. This got more play, I think, than any... It got more... So good. Remember the... Uh, media, whatever it is. Remember the Carpe Donctum meme? It's so good. Where it was like... Dun, 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 oh, dun, my gosh. Dun, it's dun, amazing. Dun. And it's yeah. like, Trump yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just goes to infinity. And that they wrote articles where they were like, Trump supporters want Trump to be president for life. So funny. they're They're like... They're like... Trump would be president for more than two terms. And you know who I love? FDR. Best president we ever had. We need someone like him Just again. Just like FDR. They yeah. worship the man. He, he was uh, the served four terms as president, by the way, FDR, mm -hmm. before the 22nd Amendment was passed. But he died That's, shortly into his fourth dude term. Dude served so many terms, they had to pass an amendment. They were <laughs> like, no, we're Stop. Not, no more. Stop. If you do so much of something that someone has to pass a constitutional amendment, you are a problem. They say that FDR was the most fascist president. He, he and Woodrow Wilson. I don't want to derail. No, I mean, yeah, that, they, they were they were, they were bad. Two terms. Yeah. You think that's good? President should be able to Woodrow serve. Woodrow Wilson. Oh, one term. One six year term. There you one go. six year term. Yeah, think about it. I mean, I, I'm not entirely fully settled on this. I just think you know, in terms of the president having to run for reelection. When you get into the last two years of their four-year term, it turns into silly season. Uh, right. And yeah. people start cutting checks for, yeah. okay, who do, what vote do I need? Okay, I need minorities in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, what do they need? And then you federal money goes to them. Like, that, like you get rid of that with one six-year presidential term. Now, huh. that that is assuming that I believe the president should have as much power as he does, which I do not, exactly. or she does. Uh, so, you know. That's okay. really insightful. It's very muddling to have a president running for office and trying to be the president. Yeah. Well, and, and it, I feel like, I don't know, that doesn't seem crazy, one six-year term. Like, it seems like a, yeah. That, good it's, compromise. It's a good compromise. You think yeah, four, like one four-year term is just not enough? Well, one four-year term is your, your, I don't know. I can be swayed. Yeah, things happen fast now. They happen a lot faster than they used to. Information travels a lot faster. Mm-hmm. Well, and they push stuff off to set, like they they start pushing stuff off on their on like what they plan to get done, right? So they're like, oh well, we'll, we'll focus on that for the second term. So they start pushing stuff on the agenda off until term two, you know, under the context that they're actually going to win. So if you give them one six year term, that forces them to do all that they want to work on right then and then. But then, how do you talk about like Congress and the Senate? Like, would that be along the same lines as like, uh, uh, you, you know, getting know. deep into the weeds there? Yeah. I mean, we, <sighs> So this, this, this ad, the Good Night America thing, was put up on October Gosh. 22nd, 2020. I just think it's funny that they, they make this ad. And in 2019, we had the best numbers of our lives in the, in the economy. Mm -hmm. And so the worst thing they could think of was that Trump would just win again because they had no real argument against him. I, 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 I honestly, you'd ask people like, okay, what don't you like about Trump? And they'd be like, he's a fascist or whatever. They wouldn't give you a real reason. That's why that I think they made this ad because they were like, people don't know why they hate Trump. They just want him to go away. Mm -hmm. And they don't want him to go away because people are screaming in their ears in the media. So they voted for a guy who tanked the economy. Who his son. is driving gas prices through the roof. Apparently is, is conversing on uh, um, the finer uh, links to porn with his child. Uh. Uh, just, I mean, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And so now here we are. 
the average person, I mean, man, spending like what? You're gonna spend like 70 to 100 bucks to fill up your gas tank. But hey, three three terms of Trump. Oh, that would have been the worst, right? There was uh, like literally the other day I was scrolling Instagram and I had three stories in a row where it was like friends posting their gas, like filling up their gas tank where it's like going over $80 and says, thanks, Joe Biden. And like all three of them were like, wow. like one had a, like a sticker on it. One said, thanks, Joe Biden. The other one just was like a middle finger. And it was just all people focusing on the fact that they can't afford to drive anymore. I swear, I think it's the Federal Reserve has been planning to crash this for a while and they're blaming Trump and Biden and they're making us blame Trump and Biden. And this has just been a fascist move since who, they know it was falling apart. Who's they blaming Trump? Well, some people. Some people that just sure. hate him. And yeah. But it's the, these guys are not the ones that caused this. This is well, like banking cartels. Let's talk I th- about... I think the, the, uh, the, the QAnon people who think he had a third term are blaming him. They're like, why is he letting this happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was actually one of the things I will give um, that... Uh, what was that guy's name? Jordan Klepper? Is that his name? Gotcha. Hmm. He he's he talks to a QAnon guy and he's like, so you think Trump is really the president? He's like, yes, he is. He's like, why is he making gas prices so high? And the guy's <laughs> like, no, that's happening. Joe Biden. He's like, but you said that Trump was president. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, those people. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to watch live, you can check out this channel Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests, Go to TimCast.com and become a member. All of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about, so you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.